All right, well, Long Island's wine country also has room for other libations. That's right. Jody Goldberg shows us how vodka and whiskey are being made on Long Island. You can see how it has legs, actually, when you twirl it in the glass. Rich Stabile has it down to a science. The electrical engineer turned master distiller opened Long Island Spirits 10 years ago. Long Island had a long history of growing potatoes, and it was always my idea. Why doesn't someone make a potato vodka from our wonderful potatoes? So Stabile started with potato vodka and now manufactures and sells gin, liqueurs, and whiskeys. It's all done inside their 14,000 square foot distillery and barrel house in Baiting Hollow on the North Fork of Long Island. Long Island has a, its own unique microclimate in agriculture. We have about 15 to 20 longer growing days than Connecticut, which is only 10 miles away, because the Gulf Stream hits the base of Long Island. Different from the wineries, Long Island Spirits manufactures year-round using local agriculture. The company that's been on a 50% annual growth rate is in 35 states and Canada. They're also in talks with distributors in Europe. Stabile, who has 15 employees, says they're on track to do close to $2.5 million in sales this year. One day we'll be milling, and fermenting. Uh, another day we will be distilling. Today we'll be bottling. Bottling whiskey, which makes up 80% of their business. This automated machine can fill, cap, and label up to a thousand bottles an hour. You're looking at 25 pounds of potatoes to make one liter of vodka. Why? Well, 80% of a potato is water. But to make whiskey, each bottle only needs about three pounds of corn, rye, or wheat. This is the, uh, the actual local winter rye that uh, is planted in October and forms a cover crop of the potatoes. This is what we make our Rough Rider rye whiskey out of. The rye is milled and then goes into the mash tun. It cooks for about two and a half hours and then it's cooled and fermented for 10 days. Matt Nicotopoulos is an assistant distiller. Basically it looks like uh, oatmeal. You uh, distill that and a clear uh, liquid, the spirit, comes out and then you have to distill it once more to clean it up. And then uh, if you're making whiskey or bourbon, you can barrel that um, second run. It's aged for at least one year before it's bottled, boxed, and shipped. A liter of vodka costs $36. Whiskeys and bourbon start at 45. Each whiskey has its own flavor profile. And just like wine, they tend to improve with age. Ah, oh, it's delicious. In Baiting Hollow, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.